We've identified a problem we'd like to solve, and we've spoken to our potential customers and users for our project. Congratulations on making it this far! Your project has likely changed a bit from the initial ideation brainstorming phase, and especially after your feedback and conversations with prospective users. Now that you've spent some time developing and refining your project idea, and brainstorming more about your project with your team, it's time to look at that elevator pitch again. Totally lost? No problem. Check out the previous two videos in this series to catch up. As a reminder, an elevator pitch, elevator speech, or elevator statement is a short description of an idea, product, or company that explains the concept in such a way that any listener can understand it in a short period of time. Think about being in an elevator and only having a couple seconds to explain. If you remember from our first video, I started with the elevator pitch, our application helps folks learn how to craft. I then altered it to be more specific to, our application helps folks looking to donate art supplies to local classrooms. Okay, here's an example. Let's say that my team spoke to crafters and teachers and realized that after speaking to our users that there is a bigger, much more important problem to solve donating all types of supplies to classrooms, not just crafts. If you remember from our previous video, being able to speak with and empathize with real potential users is a key step in making sure that our product is successful among our potential user demographic. So in this example, I'd likely change my elevator pitch to, our application connects schools and teachers with local community members looking to donate art and school supplies. If your new elevator pitch is way different from when you started, don't worry, that's good. That means you likely made some updates after speaking with potential users, and you're thinking more critically about your project and the problems it'll solve. I know you're itching to start building, but let's do one final thing before we build a prototype and start coding. Let's make a vision statement. A vision statement tells everyone what you're doing and why you're doing it. It empowers individuals to act independently and make decisions that contribute to the whole, and it inspires everyone to realize that shared vision. In other words, a vision statement is kind of like an elevator pitch, but instead it can be used as a guiding statement for you to act, make decisions, and inspire you and your teammates as you work on your project. Think of it as the who, what, why, and how behind your project. A good vision statement answers the questions, who are we? What are we building? Why are we doing this? And how will we accomplish it? Your vision statement should be agreed on by all teammates, and it takes time. Make sure that everyone's voice on your team is heard. To write your vision statement, sit down with your team and determine the following. What is your project's team or goal? How does your project add value to the people that it will serve? Why are you building this? And what is the value to your organization? You can discuss these in a free-flowing brainstorm session, or you can have each team member write down their answers on a piece of paper and discuss after. Your goal is to come up with a vision statement that everyone agrees with. Ideally, your vision statement will be a single statement that combines all your team's vision into one statement. Don't rush it. This can take some time and discussion. Remember that our goal with the vision statement is to get everyone on the same page about what you know, what your shared vision and goals are, and the values and principles that guide you. Don't worry, that's a lot of stuff to cover, so it can be longer than an elevator pitch. Below is an example that I made for my previous example. I'm gonna make my vision statement. Our application provides classrooms in need with free supplies in the community, eliminating the need for educators to pay out of pocket for supplies and creating less waste by connecting individuals and communities looking to donate items to students who need them most. Ooh, that felt really nice to say. If your vision statement doesn't excite you and motivate you when you say it aloud, it may be time to go back to the drawing board. Remember, your project should be something that you're excited to build, and that'll shine through when you pitch your idea to investors, share your project idea with hackathon judges, or who knows? Maybe you'll even get to present your project to the CEO of Microsoft at the Imagine Cup. You'll know that your project statement is done when it motivates you, inspires you, and paints a clear picture of your project's mission and goals. Still looking for a little more guidance on mission statements? Check out the links below in our description for some additional videos and resources from Microsoft on creating and refining a good vision statement. We did it! You've completed the final video of this three-part series on generating project ideas. Next up, 
you're ready to build a prototype. Check the description below for links to our series of Imagine Cup training content. See you in a couple weeks when you're ready to start pitching. I'm so excited to see what you create.